Hey guys, it's Griffin. How are you? I am so pumped to be offering my first ever living room workout. You don't need anything today except for your body. Water would be great um, and a towel. Even better if you have a mat, that's fine, but if you don't, no worries. Um, my dog Aiden is chilling in the background and I have another dog Lucy and you might see her. I'm actually really most excited about being home alone right now. <laughs> Woo! Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is um, a 30 minute workout. We're gonna start with a little warm up and then um, we're gonna move into blocks. So the first block will be a lower body block and then we'll move into an upper body block and then we'll go into a core body block uh, and a little finisher and then we should be good. Any modifications you need, of course, take them. No shame in that. It's only going to help you move upward in a responsible manner. Um, yeah, let's do this. Nothing left to do it, but do it. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, so we're going to start at the back of your mat if you're using one, and we're going to begin with walk outs. So we're just going to walk forward into a plank position and then walk back. Stand up tall, reach up, just warming up the body here. So we're shooting for a nice plank position on the way out. Legs are super active and the glutes are as well. So we're gonna be here for about another 10 seconds. Let's get one more in here. Great, so from here we're gonna move right into jumping jacks. So just about 20 seconds, just getting the body moving. Of course we can modify here if you need. Whatever you're doing is better than nothing. We're moving, getting the blood flowing, accomplishing something for the day. In five seconds, we're gonna go right into body weight squats. Four, three, two, and one. Feet are comfortably hips width apart. And we head down, hips moving back, fully extending on the way up. Good butt squeeze, actively pushing the arms back. Make sure we're breathing here. Great, we're gonna take another five seconds here. Four, three, two, moving right back into our walkouts, exactly how we started. So back of the mat, and then we're gonna flat palm it out into a plank. Flat palm back. So we're getting the hips hinging and planking. Hips, hips are hinging on the way back and the way out. So belly button into the spine, glutes and legs super active. Setting our form up for the rest of the workout. Let's make this next one the last one and we're moving into jumping jacks. So come on up and jumping jacks or of course here. Whatever you're doing, your intention is to create heat in the body. We're preparing to move laterally, up and down on every plane. You're gonna feel good and activated and tired by the end of this one. Whew. Okay, I'm creating some heat, that's for sure. We've got squats here. So, Squats, yes, we're working the legs, obviously, but I want you to think about keeping the chest up as you go back. When we talk about core, we talk about everything stemming from the middle, so it's really from here to here. Good, we got one more here. Awesome, one more round of our warm up. Walkouts, jumping jacks, squats. We go in three, two, one, walk it out. So you're gonna get a chance to kind of do the rough draft the first round, and then we can sink in and perfect our form as we move forward. So we're gonna get one more here. Big reach up, flat palm out. And walking back. Awesome, jumping jacks, last set here. How are you guys holding up throughout all of this, huh? Yeah, believe it or not, we've adapted a lot. 
already, already getting into this new way of life. And you guys are crushing it today, attacking it full force, getting your work in. Last round of squats here. I always have a, even as a trainer, sometimes I'm like, have a hard time getting going to start working out. The minute, the second I start moving, I'm like, what is wrong with me, <laughs> right? It just feels so good. Yes, let's get one more here and then we're moving into our lower body block. You warm? I'm gonna take a water. Please drink throughout. Really important to stay hydrated. Okay, so we're gonna be starting with uh, a combination move and I'll show you first. So your right leg is gonna be going back into a reverse lunge and then we go right into a curtsy lunge, back into reverse lunge, feet come square, squat, okay? So you're gonna move through that one leg for a whole minute, so you really get a chance to dig into this, and then we'll move on to the other side. If you prefer to add weights to this, you absolutely can. You can either rack them up at your shoulders or hold them by your sides. I'm trying to keep it really simple today. Um, also, you could use this as a body weight workout and then in the future start adding weights as you feel stronger for a little bit of variation. All right, so we got one minute on this leg. We head back reverse lunge and come into curtsy lunge. Back to reverse. Feet come square, squat. Good. So reverse, curtsy, reverse, back to squat. Good. So by now, you should, and I do, absolutely feel some good tension going on in this front leg. So that is the leg that is getting most of the work, right? So we're hitting the glutes, the inner thighs, the quads, the hamstrings, the whole show. Good, so we have about 15 seconds left on this one side. Remember, we're gonna get another chance to do this again. Thank God. Okay guys, this is the last one here. Reverse lunge, back into squat. Good, shake it out for a minute. I'm a big water drinker, so we're gonna be taking short rests and coming right back in. Okay, so now this leg is moving back. Reverse lunge, curtsy, reverse to squat. We go one minute, three, two, one, here we go. Reverse. Yeah. So, different side, different story. Don't judge it. Just tune in. How does this side feel differently? I love single side stuff because we get to see what the heck is going on from side to side. So really there's no rest on this front leg, right? We're in the whole time. And coming back to squat, there we go. All right, we're getting there. Just past the halfway mark. Keep breathing. It's all we got, right? Tune back into that breath. Whatever you're doing is awesome. No worries, reverse. Cool, this is our last set here. Back to reverse and into your squat. Woo! Shake it out, guys. Nice work. How those legs feeling? Okay, so we're gonna come on down um, to the floor here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn sideways. Hopefully you can see me. Yes, yes. Wake up, Aiden. All right, guys, so we're going to um, put our weight on the right leg this left leg is gonna come up. If you're super tight, you can bend it, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up into a single leg bridge. Come join me here and hold. So, single leg static bridge. We're holding this for a 20 second hold here. Keep driving that foot and that heel through the floor, shoulders down and back. If you're shaking, good for you. All right, we hold this for three seconds, two, one, we come down. So now we head up for a count of one and down for three, two, one. We got five of these. Up for a count of one, down for three, two, one. Two down, three to go. Up, hold. Good, three, two, one. Awesome guys, almost there. Up for one, hold it. Come on down, three, two, one. One more. 
up, and three, two, one. Fantastic. We're going to switch sides. Other leg comes up straight, shoulders down and back. We come up and hold this for 20 seconds. So we've switched legs. This leg is up straight if you can manage. If you have to bend it, all good. Good, we've already passed that halfway mark. And guess what? We've almost been working out for 10 minutes. Yeah! All right, we hold this for three, two, one. Come on down. So now we have up for a count of one, down for a count of three, total of five. Here we go. Up, one, down for three, two, one. Up one, and down. Three, two, one. That's two. We got three more. We're up, and three, two, one. Good. Two more, you guys. Up, and three, two. I see you. I see you working. I see it. <laughs> and down for three, two, one. Awesome. Okay, let's come right back up. Coming into my favorite dead lift. So I'm going to turn to the side to show you. Let's start by standing on the left leg. Right knee comes up, okay? So we're gonna be working on balance a lot here. I'm gonna show you from the side and then I'm gonna turn to the front. So we're standing on the left leg, whoa. And then we bring that knee up. So foot is really planted onto the floor and we're hinging at this hip. So I'll show you from the front. Hands can go out to the sides or back behind you Super advanced would be arms forward. Pick your poison, it's all good. All right, so we get this up, this leg up here, standing on your right leg. Let's head back. 30 seconds on each side here. Do what version makes you feel strong, right? Yeah, it should be challenging, but something you can dig into with a little room to grow is the perfect place to go. All right, good. So just like that, we're halfway through here. That standing leg should be on fire by now. Last five seconds and we're gonna switch. Here's another chance to see which side you're way more grounded. Hold that, hold that. Just hold it, hold it. Are you hiking your hips? I can see that I am. Let's lower it down. Good, four, three, two and one all right let's shake it shake it shake it other side here standing deadlifts we start with that knee up hips are level 30 seconds on the clock let's do it so we're now we're sort of putting it all together right strength balance it's more of a mental challenge than anything i don't really like balance work i don't like to call it balance work it's really strength work right Finding stability within your strength. Ooh, all right, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, one more thing here in our leg block. We're gonna use this center mat as your home base. We are gonna move side to side, okay? So feet come together at the center of the mat and you just keep moving side to side. If you need to take it up a notch, you can be here, okay? So we jump switch in the middle, be what you need. It's a hard place to be. So I'm gonna hold it here because this feels good to me. Being mindful of your knees, your back, what you need today. Let's hold this another five seconds, four, Three, two, and one. High fives. All right, guys, grab a drink. Grab a drink, grab a drink. Woo! Who's pushing it real good? What will we do without music, right? Okay, let's come into our upper body block now, okay? So we're gonna repeat everything at the end. Here's our upper body block. Congratulations, guys, you've been working out. We're almost halfway there. Okay, so first, we're coming into a bear plank. So come on down for all fours. If you need another second to recover, go ahead, I'm gonna preview the next move. So bear plank is shoulders are right over the, over the wrist, 
elbows are pointing forward, we hold here. I'm going to give you an option when we hit 15 seconds to add in some shoulder taps. Only if you've mastered the first part. If this is the first time you're doing a bear plank ever, make sure you get that right straight back, all right? So we're going to hold that for 30 seconds, and then we're going to go into a crown push-up, which is like a down dog position. I'm kind of out of frame here. Down dog position, you tuck your chin more than you ever think you should. Crown of the head comes to the floor. So we're tucking, crown of the head comes to the floor, okay? And then the last one in this series is descent push-up with a Superman. So it looks like this. We start in high plank or knees if you need to modify. We come down for a count of eight. And then we extend out for Superman and come right back up. So those are your three exercises here, meant to uh, build some smoke, so let's do that. Okay, so first things first, shoulder tap, uh, bear plank, or just regular bear plank. We go in three, two, one, 30 second hold here, guys. All right, so look down at your knees, they should be pointing straight down to the floor. No more than six inches off the floor. Elbows are pointing forward, the crooks of the elbows. Quads burning, check. Core engaged, check. Everything on fire here now if you'd like. Go ahead and add the shoulder tap. So we're trying our best not to rotate the body here at all, okay? If you can't manage that and your butt's coming up, we come back to the bare plank. Level one through nine before we start 10. We got five seconds here, no matter where you're working. Three, two, one, okay, we come into a downward dog position. My dog's like, nope. Okay, so we're in a down dog position, right? If your heels can come to the floor, awesome. If you need to bend a little, go for it. So once again, we tuck the chin, crown of the head comes to the floor, and we push back. So your gaze should be between your feet. And keep it there. Keep tucking, crown of the head, to the floor. You should feel your last, really pushing through the heels of the hands. You have 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. It feels so good to feel strong. Three, two, last one. Okay, good. Shake out those wrists. If you need a modification with this one, you can take your knees to the floor. All good. So meet me in a high plank. High plank, high plank. We hold here and we descend down to the ground for a count of eight into Superman. We go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Everything touches down here. We reach the arms forward and the legs come up. Hands come down under the shoulders, back into high plank. All right, so you're in high plank right now. You go down for a count of eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Everything extends out. Reach up. Good. Come down. Hands come underneath the shoulders. You push back up for that plank. I'm going to show you from the side. Meet me here. We come down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach everything out. Hands come underneath the shoulders. We're back up. That was it. Good job, guys. Shake it up. Shake it up. Yeah! Okay, let's take a drink. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Okay, next is our core block. So we're going to meet me uh, in a side plank clam shell. So let's go onto our um, right shoulder or any shoulder. Just keep facing in and we'll switch. So you're going to come into a clam shell position, okay? So knees are bent, knees are stacked, ankles are stacked. Shoulder is right underneath, right on top of the elbow. So we're gonna come up into a side bridge, side bridge, clamshell, and down, okay? So we push up and then down, okay? So that's a little bit more advanced. If you wanna keep the knees down, we side bridge here and open. Let's keep it like that. Let's keep it safe this round next time you get to show your stuff. All right, guys, 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go in three, two, one. Side bridge, clamshell. So what you want here is space in your throat, right? 
So if you're forward, you won't be able to access your core or your breathing. Push the floor away from you. Keep the hips stacked. We're almost there, we have 10 seconds, guys. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We come right up into side plank. Hold for 20 seconds, here we go. 20 seconds, just hold it. Everything engaged, this is kicking my ass. Woo! 10 seconds, nine, eight, Seven. I love this song. I want it all. Why not? Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, guys. Let's switch sides. Starting with clamshell, or sorry, say, uh, side bridge, clamshell. Ankles are stacked, knees are stacked, shoulders stacked. Everything's stacked up. We stack the joints. Here we go. Side bridge, clamshell. So even when you come down, you're not really like letting everything down, right? You're just kissing the floor with your hip. Everything is still locked in. Cool. We're almost there. Just 10 seconds. Which side's easier? This one's like a bedtime story. All day I could do this. The other side? It's like a nightmare. We all got them. All right, three, two, and one. Okay, meet me up in side plank. 20 seconds, that's it. 20 seconds. Just keep coming back to your breath and how awesome it is that you have made it this far. We are nearing the end, guys. We got about 10 minutes, all right? Keep doing what you're doing and know that you're on the path to getting better every day in every way. Three, two, and one. Awesome, okay, so we're gonna come onto our backs here. So, left elbow is going to make a connection with the left knee as the right leg comes straight up. If your leg's higher, that's much easier. Let's lower it down and hold this, just hold. 20 seconds, making that connection, elbow to knee. Same elbow, same knee. Fantastic. And five, four, squeeze the butt on the leg that's out. Three, two, one, switch, switch. We are getting this work. Ha <laughs> ha, right elbow to right knee. So this leg is up off the ground. My leg's like totally out of frame. Good thing my dog is in it though. Aiden! <laughs> oh my God, to be a dog. Ah, uh, hold that, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we come down for just a brief second. Support the head both sides. We come up and we come into opposite elbow to opposite knee bicycle. If your legs are up here, it's gonna be more forgiving and easier. If you wanna lift the shoulder up all the way off the ground, the opposite elbow kind of roots you down for more of a twist. And let's pick up the pace for 10 seconds. Get it deep. You want the work? You gotta go get it. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Okay guys, bonus round. So let's go through everything we've already done. You know what you're doing here. We're gonna move a little bit quicker. Here's the arc, okay? Here's the arc of the class where it's time to turn it up a little bit. You know what you're doing. Take your modifications as needed. We're gonna have just enough time Time isn't my uh, specialty, I always go over. So now that we're in it, we might as well just keep going. All right guys, so we are gonna start with reverse lunge curtsy, reverse lunge squat in three, two, one, let's get it. Reverse curtsy, reverse squat, keep it going. Reverse curtsy, reverse squat. At your own pace, if you want to move slower, there's a lot to be had in that pace. Whatever feels good. We got 15 seconds. Remember, do what makes you feel strong. Five, get what you can. Four, three, two, and one, okay? Whew, without rest, we switch sides. How are you feeling, you guys? 
We're doing it. Okay, reverse lunge, let's go. Reverse, curtsy, reverse, and squat. Keep it going. Good connection with your feet on the floor. I'm loving working out barefoot. Feels so good. It's kind of good to be raw, right? There ain't no pedicures happening right now. <laughs> and you know what? It's all right. Let those things breathe. <laughs> Woo. Hair's getting grayer. You know, we're all exposed. <laughs> Feels kind of good. Wearing whatever the, you goddamn please throughout the day. Feels so good. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, oh my God, four, three, two, let's finish. Woo, brief little rest. Okay, we come back down to the ground for that single leg, uh, single leg bridge series. Okay, so meet me on the floor. We start with that 20 second hold. Uh, let's start with the left leg down first. The right leg is up, shoulders down and back. Hold it. So relaxing those toes on the left. All four points of the foot, making a really good connection and that will translate to what your leg and glute are doing. Five seconds, we come into those up for one and down for three and three, two, one, we come down, we're up, count of one, and down for three, two, one. We're up one, and down three, two, one. Get up, and three, two, one. Two more, up for one. What can you get on this last rep? Up for one, and down for three, two, one. Whew. Other side, we're in it, guys, we are in it. Up and hold it, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Remember, check in with that foot. Hips are as high as can be. Like you've got a tray of something that you don't want to spill. Whew. I'm having fun. Are you guys loving it? Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're up for a count of one and down for three, two, one. Up one and three, two, one. We are almost there, guys. Up one, three, two, one, two more, and three, two, one, what you got, last one, up, and three, two, one, oh, shake them out, shake them out, okay, single leg deadlifts coming at you, let's get right into it, standing leg here, 30 seconds, we come back, if you'd like to add a little hop here, why not, otherwise, you are here, Focusing on stability and hinging off of that front hip. So add what makes you feel good and strong. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, right away we switch. Find it, 30 seconds, let's do it. First, find the hinge, find the stability, all the goodness. I'm going to let you know when halfway is up, if you want to push the boundaries a little bit. All we have is right now and today, let's do it. If you fall, who cares? Most of you are on a carpet, so it won't hurt, and nobody's looking. It's you and you. That's scary, right? Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Okay, guys, bear planks. We got about four minutes left in this workout. Meet me here, bear plank. That's it, right there, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So I'm gonna let you know at the halfway mark, Let's add some shoulder taps right here. Three, two, one, come on. Come on. Breathing. Obliques, glutes on fire. No rotation. Stable 
as hell. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll them out, roll them out. Okay, so we've got down dog here. Tuck the chin, 30 seconds, crown of the head to the floor. So this is a different kind of push-up. We're really pulling the lats down into the body, wrapping the shoulders around those lats. Down and back with the shoulders. Push through the heels of the hands. We got 10 seconds, guys. Get it, get it, get it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we've got three reps. Down for a count of eight. We extend out into Superman or Superwoman. Hands come under the shoulders. We come back up. All right, three reps, guys. Let's draw them out. Let's do this together. All right, meet me in plank. Everybody's here in plank. If you need to drop to your knees, no shame in that, do it. Here we go. Eight, seven, wrap those elbows in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Everything extends out. Hands come under the shoulders. We come up. Let's do it again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend out one more. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend out. Hey. Okay, guys. We got the side planks. Clamshell flat side plank. Here we go. On the right elbow. Facing forward. Side bridge. Open up. Nice. After this, we are coming into a 20 second side plank and I'm gonna give you a little variation option. Five, four, three, two, and one without rest, become ready. So you can hold this or you can thread the needle through. So the hips stay put, we twist. This is a short little set here, guys. Stability. Form solid. Last five seconds. Fire up those legs. Four, three, two, and one. Let's switch sides. Whew. Okay. We come right into side bridge into the clamshell. Kind of setting up the hips. Everything engaged for those beautiful side planks. And maybe you thread the needle here. We go in five, four, three, two, and one. No rest. Come on. Right up, right up. If you've got it, let's go ahead and thread the needle. Remember, it's just 20 seconds. More is not better. Better is better. Lock and load, team. Whew. Five seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one, okay. Let's get this finished. All right, guys, super quick finisher here. We got about two minutes. Sorry I kept you over, but that's what I do. All right, we're gonna come into um, squat jump. If you don't do the whole jumping thing, you stop here and you just pulse it out. We're gonna come down to the floor for speed walkouts. You did these in the warm up, and now I want you to do them faster, okay? We go back into that, and then we come down for cross body mountain climber. Don't think, we're just gonna do it. It's called a finisher for a reason. It's short and intense. All right, guys, in three, two, one, we come into squat jump. Here we go, 20 seconds. You are looking extra flat. Woo! I see you. 10 seconds, nine, eight. This is it. Empty the tank. Four, three, two, one. Good. Walkouts, nice and quick. Walk them out. Come back in if you got a little more and a little jump. Only you know. 
Only you know. It's over in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Stay down. Cross body mountain climber. 20 seconds. Don't think, just do it. Woo. We got one more round of this, guys, and then we're done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Repress. One more time. Do you have it? Of course you do. Okay. 20 seconds. Squat jump. Three, two, one. Touch the sky. <laughs> Don't forget to smile. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk out. 20 seconds. Go. Quick, guys. Get it. Do you have a little jump? Why not? seconds. Come on up. Whew. Just go ahead and swing. Unravel. Would you believe my dog hasn't even gotten up this whole time? Look at him. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Legs are still nice and wide. Take an inhale up and exhale. Let everything hang down. Release the jaw, release everything, just let it go. And slowly rolling up. One more big inhale up. And exhale, good. Let's take a little quad stretch here. Knees stay close together. Whew. And take a tuck here. Should feel it in the front of your leg. This is just a little preliminary stretch. We did a lot of work today. Check out Evolve's YouTube channel. Um, Julia X is doing some spinning classes, some arm series, little short plank things. Look for more content for sure. Um, I think I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna try it on YouTube. It's very time consuming. Those guys have been putting a lot of work in. Kimmy with her bar classes. Um, we're gonna try to keep you covered for these next 30 days or more. But don't worry, stay on top, stay positive. Keep moving your body and keep being grateful for all the blessings we have because it's a lot and I feel really grateful um, to have a safe home and a wonderful family and you guys are part of that so thanks a lot keep getting your work in keep hugging everybody that you can I love you guys see you soon